Hey, welcome to the season premiere of Variety Tech Today. Today I'm reviewing the Sony BDP S590. Now you might be wondering why am I concerned with this Blu-ray player that was released as I'm filming this eight years ago, back in 2012. Well, it's one of relatively few devices that has a feature that you just can't get nowadays. Voodoo 3D streaming. Now I snagged this particular player relatively cheap used and as is often the case they don't come with remotes and those are very common compatible remotes online. I got one of those too. And one thing to keep in mind is while it is Wi-Fi compatible it needs a separate dongle or device to actually access the Wi-Fi. So instead I just used an Ethernet cable for direct access, much easier. Now being as it is an old, by technology terms, device, a lot of the smart apps, being as it was in the early days of smart app devices, are obsolete. So some of them don't even work now. But Voodoo is one of the ones that does. Now with Voodoo 3D streaming, you can access these titles from basically any browser or through the app itself it might not be straightforward to get there but you can still access them and it used to be the case that you could actually play them albeit sometimes in limited resolution but then inexplicably not too long ago they started disabling that yes they actively disabled you from doing that which is kind of illogical because the 3d streams from voodoo are really just a standard 1080p frame and it has the left eye view and the right eye view half of its normal width so that both fit into that frame. So you should be able to activate the side-by-side -side setting, which is what is usually called on your 3D television or projector, to watch it on any device. Even on uh, the glasses free 3D rocket phone, it has a setting for uh, being able to view side-by-side -side 3D from any source. But, like I said, they actively disabled that and prevented many users from being able to use titles that they could potentially rent, or even worse, had actually bought and spent money on and could no longer access. Now, there have been other attempts at 3D streaming rentals, such as the Red Hydrogen One Phone, which um, originally came with the Hydrogen Network that had many recent popular Hollywood 3D movies available but that has since shut down ever since they moved away from the phone and focused more on their tablet and I'm assuming their licensing deals with those studios expired because those movies also all disappeared from the Hydrogen Network which is no longer a supported app and then there's the Rockflix phone which currently as of this filming has a 3D streaming app but it's mostly exclusive low budget content there is however a few interesting things including the 3D conversions of the Little Rascals and Three Stooges shorts that have been released on Blu-ray 3D. And as I've mentioned in a previous review, parallax barrier screen like the Rocket looks far superior to screens like the Leia from Hydrogen One. And Rockflix also has a couple of interesting exclusive public domain conversions of their own, such as Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. And well, of course, they aren't up to the highest standards of 3D conversions, they're still remarkably good. The only problem with 3D rentals and streaming subscriptions like that is they want to lock you into viewing on their phones. So even though those could have theoretically been cast to a TV or even had a similar smart TV app, they refuse to do so, likely to market their device and make it seem more special. There was a couple of 3D smart TV app, one from Sony and another one that shut down some years ago. And more recently, there was 3D Crave, which was available on Roku as well as Amazon. And that had uh, a number of rentals and purchases, including The Little Rascals and Three Stooges. However, that also shut down not too long ago. So, as far as I'm aware, that leaves Voodoo as the only 3D streaming solution at this point in time. And because they proactively locked playback to some archaic devices, you need one of those devices to access those titles.
or to play them back at least. Now what's interesting here is that besides being able to rent some movies which can at times be cheaper like f around four dollars for a 3D rental they also have some exclusives. For instance there are a couple movies I believe that were never released on Blu-ray 3D and there's also a few short films that have it. For instance a sequel short film to Disney's Tangled, Tangled Ever After as well as a couple of the Toy Story tunes series, uh, Hawaiian Vacation and Small Fry, which in some cases were released theatrically to 3D, but never made it to 3D disc. And it seems Voodoo was the last holdout for being able to rent 3D current major motion pictures. But that all seemed to end about a couple years ago without any comment as in the last couple years, no recent films have been released on Voodoo 3D, but all the others remain available. And even though Disney has a lot of their 3D movies on there, none of theirs are available to rent, unlike the other studios. You can only buy them, which is kind of ridiculous, as if you have a 3D Blu-ray player that's necessary to access Voodoo 3D, why would you buy an inferior streaming 3D version that cost ridiculous amount more, for instance around $35 at most. You can get a Blu-ray 3D disc for much cheaper for, with much better results and less trouble. So a lot of choices that are made regarding 3D just don't seem to make sense, but for those who are keeping up with 3D that's something we've gotten used to sadly. <laughs> so anyway, beyond that, once you're set up it's pretty straightforward you click play like any other Voodoo purchase or rental except then uh, it goes black and your screen whether it's a TV or projector will automatically switch to 3D mode and that's that however of course it's not as good as Blu-ray 3D because not only the half resolution to fit both sides into one HD frame but also the lower bit rate higher compression but for a rental option, it's, it's decent, it's not bad, besides the exclusives. So, is the player good for anything else besides Voodoo 3D? Well, of course, it plays standard Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D discs, and it also has BD Live functionality, along with a USB port in the back to support that. You can also play data discs off of a DVD-ROM or BD-ROM, but unless those files have a 3D tag in the metadata, it's not going to automatically play it back in 3D. Of course that shouldn't be a problem, as many disc players naturally have a side-by-side -side or over-under option button, but this player doesn't. All you can do is select simulated 3D, and what good is that? So the answer to my previous question is no, it's not really good for much else. Unless you're interested in Voodoo 3D, there's really no other reason to own this, as you can get a much better 4K 3D disc player that even gives you better image quality from 3D discs. See you next time.